guys, what's up? It's Olivia. So in about 40 minutes or so, I have my phone interview for the Disney College Program Summer Alumni 2018. If I'm uploading this phone interview video, that means that I did make it, which means if you have any questions about what I'm doing during this program or what this application process is like, then check out my other videos because I'm sure I have uploaded those. I will turn you back on when my interview starts. Yes, I graduated in December 2017, so yeah, a couple months ago. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, I was. It was a dream job and it was wonderful and I loved it. <laughs> Yes, I 100% follow them. I do not have any piercings and I do not have any tattoos. Yes, Walt Disney World. Yes, I did. I lived in Chatham. Um, I had a two bedroom, six person apartment. So we were in triples and me and three of the other girls linked up beforehand. And then we were really shocked when we had um, two random roommates. But yeah, but um, Honestly, our schedules were all so different that we never had any trouble with shower time or bed or waking up or anything like that. And um, the only like issue I guess we ever had was just if someone left dishes in the sink for a couple days, in which case we would just politely say, hey, when you get a chance, can you please do your dishes? And usually it was just something crazy like they had a really late shift one night and then an early shift the next morning. Um, so yeah, we we're all pretty understanding and yeah, I, um, two of my roommates actually are applying for the this program as well And so we're hoping to room together if we get it. Yeah Okay, so yeah, my last program like I said, I loved absolutely loved my job, but it was hard because um, I was in a different park I could be in a different park every day of the week um, And I didn't really get to make as many connections with my coworkers and my leaders as much as I would like to um, so definitely on this program, I'm excited about being somewhere where I am with the same people, making those connections, networking a little bit in case I do want to pursue a professional internship in the future. Um, yeah, and then I'm also just really excited to actually interact interact with guests like as me, with my voice, um, all of that stuff. So yeah, just networking a lot more and making more of those solid connections. Ooh, my biggest learning in my role. Um, I guess just learning that every guest is different and their needs are different. Um, and I don't know, just with some guests, like, you know, it'd be a little kid and yeah, we get to just hug them and love on them and they'd be really happy. Then other times we would kind of have a challenging guest where you would have to work hard to make a connection on them, you know, work hard to actually get them to interact, um, with you. And so I think actually it was really helpful. Um, we learned kind of in the first glance, in the first couple seconds, to kind of scan um, the guests, see if there's anything on like their clothing or their pins or button to interact with them. And so I think that um, I think that that's going to help me whether I'm merchandise or attractions and in interacting with guests is already having that experience of scanning real quick to try to find a connection in case there's not something super obvious. So yeah, and then just working with people from all over the world, which was great. Yes, so we had a guest one time, um, a family, dad, mom, two little boys, and you could tell that the dad was just not happy. Um, I don't know if he was upset because the line was long or because it was raining really hard outside, but he just kind of was, yeah, he was not having it. So the kids were really happy and all into it. The mom was really into it, but the dad was just standing in the corner with his arms crossed. And so um, I was hanging out with Mickey that day, and Mickey looked over and noticed that the dad was wearing an Alabama shirt. And so he, yeah, so he made kind of a motion, like, roll tide. Um, and the, the kids were like, oh my gosh, dad, Mickey knows Alabama. Mickey's a Bama fan. And so that kind of got the dad, like, to smile a little bit. Then Mickey pretended to, like, throw the football with him. 
And, um, you know, it took definitely a couple minutes, but we finally convinced him to come get in the picture. He even got an individual picture with Mickey, and they held up their muscles. So, yeah, it ended up, we ended up really, like, turning around his day, and, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so in my role, I guess just making sure, yeah, um, yeah, for me, really, it was just making sure that, like, I was safe as well as my partner. Um, as far as like the kids, yeah, at times we would make sure that like if they started climbing on a prop to kind of go over and like, no, come over here with me. Um, but yeah, just kind of really watching my partner to make sure they were okay if like the guests would like pick them up and you know, things like that. And then just letting our attendants know, um, I don't know, I guess if we had an issue or something like that. Yeah, it was very unique because I didn't really deal with a bunch of like emergency things or safety issues, just more of like kind of taking care of myself and learning that no, it's not okay for guests to grab you, so like it is okay to like step back and kind of take control of the situation. <laughs> um, so yeah, the busiest day I had was probably um, at Magic Kingdom on Christmas Eve. And so, yeah, yeah, so the park had definitely reached capacity, um, and it was just very fast, um, yeah, <laughs> Magic Kingdom's just a whole nother vibe than every other park already, um, being on Christmas Eve really fast, so I think it was just really paying attention to, so that location, like, Daisy sees guests first, and then they go and wait in line for Minnie, so, um, yeah, getting through that was really just, kind of paying attention, making sure the line didn't get too long, adjusting my behaviors if I needed to go quicker. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed when it re when it went really fast, and I did try to like make connections as much as I could in the short, you know, 45 seconds or so that I had with each guest. Yeah, but honestly, it was just so exhilarating and exciting being there on Christmas Eve as Minnie Mouse in this gorgeous dress. So yeah, it was more fun than anything. <laughs> Yes, I definitely am. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, I mean, I would love indoor environment, but yeah, I'm open to both. Um, I can do both. Um, I do love making those connections with coworkers and helping out when I need to, but I also know that especially with you know merchandise or attractions, I will be by myself sometimes. I might be in the back stocking or doing things like that. And I am a very self-disciplined person. Um, I know how to get the job done. I am self-motivated, so it's no problem for me working independently. Um, but I am also definitely able to work in that team setting, which honestly is something that um, being a character performer taught me because photo pass attendant and the performer is definitely a team and you have to know how to read one another. So yeah, I can, yeah, I'm comfortable in both situations. <laughs> so yeah, first I would double check, make sure that we did not have it in the store. Um, and then I, one of my roommates was merchandise, so I know that there is a system to look up um, where else in the park it is. So I would do that first because who knows, maybe they are going to go see Festival of the Lion King and they don't mind stopping at the shop um, right there. So I would look that up, um, try to find it for them. Um, also, if they were maybe leaving the park, like that was the end of their vacation, um, I would try to find it for them on the Disney Shop Parks app and get them all set up on that so at least it could be shipped to them um, when they, you know, were home. Um, yeah, so that's what I would do. So, yeah, of course I know that um, I will be familiar um, in the area with, uh, uh, with uh, sorry, with what rides, um, the height requirements for all the rides. So, first, you know, I mean, I'm barely five feet tall, so I can definitely relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would just try to get the child excited about other rides that are in the area that are in his height range. Um, possibly, you know, I don't know exactly how it works in traction, but maybe I could give him a fast pass. You know, if he's too short for Soarin', um, you know, over the world, maybe I'd give him a fast pass for the Elsa ride, which I know has no height requirement, um, or getting excited about Nemo or something that's closer. Um, so yeah, I would just try to sympathize, but then also just try to get him excited about what all the park has. Um, okay, yeah, so I was just wondering, because um, I mean, I do plan on using housing, um, but it is possible that like my roommates who get down there, they might be trying to move 
to Orlando permanently and get apartments. So I was just wondering, is it is like if it is possible to opt out of housing? Um, if there, if like I would, okay. Okay, awesome. I mean, I'm planning on using Disney housing, um, but yeah. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, I think that's all the that's all the questions. But I just wanted to let you know that I love Animal Kingdom and Epcot, and um, yeah, I yeah. Just want to let you know that you know I spent a lot of my lunches in Island Mercantile Discovery Trading Company, just walking around. So, just saying, I love those stores and know them like the back of my hand. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, I I totally understand. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, no, I think I am good now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you so much. You have a great day as well. Bye. Okay. Now let's talk. So that is honestly not what I thought the alumni interview would be like at all, especially compared to all the other phone interviews I have seen on YouTube. Um, also, I I thought I started my camera, but it started a couple of seconds late or a couple minutes. Well, like 30 seconds. Um, I'm like so nervous now. Oh my god. Um, but literally all you missed was she said, is this a good time for you? And said her name um, and asked me if I just graduated from UC Davis. I don't know where it came in, but she asked me if I just graduated and I said yes. Um, and then asked me if it, I was an international student. So I said no. I think that's about where it started. Um, so yeah, that was way different than I expected. Um, all of the interviews that I had looked up on YouTube beforehand, um, they're basically just asking them about times they deal with different situations in their role and then ask them situations about new roles and then ask them where they wanted to be. And my interview honestly felt, I mean, maybe when I watch it back it'll be different, but my first thoughts are that it felt exactly like um, the first interview, my first program. Um, but yeah, you can watch it back and see the different questions they asked me. They asked me about being a performer. Um, the only questions they asked about like merchandise was, if, I mean, you just saw it, I guess, but, you know, if someone couldn't find an item, what would you do? And then for attractions, if a kid wasn't tall enough for a ride, what would you do? They didn't ask me at all about what locations I would want to be at, which every other interview I've seen, even my roommates who just interviewed, um, they got asked that. Just nerve wracking because I love Animal Kingdom, I love Epcot, that's where I want to work, that's where I want to be. You saw at the end, I did the last ditch, like, I love these places, put me here, I beg of you, put me here. Um, so we'll see, I guess it's just down to faith now and what Disney needs. <sighs> also my question for her was the timeline, like my, the question that I was going to ask her at the end was what is the timeline and like when we start hearing back. And so she said all the offers are going to be made at the end of March, which I'm going to write down right here real quick. Literally, all of my notes was just writing down. Discovery Island, Animal Kingdom, Island Mercantile, Discovery Trading Company, and then the question, and then I wrote down her name. Those were all of my notes. So hopefully this video helped you if you are applying and want to know what the phone interview is like. Again, maybe when I watch it back, I'll go, okay, it wasn't that bad, or okay, it wasn't different from all the other ones I've seen on YouTube. But as of this moment in time, I feel like it is different than every other interview I've seen on YouTube. So we'll see. But again, if you're seeing this, then I got accepted. So. <laughs> Hopefully it's an animal kingdom or Epcot. Send prayers, please. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Keep dreaming out loud, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!